So it's been four months since I've been on YouTube posting consistently. And uh, here is a tip for you that you might find helpful. So I started posting consistently from 30th September last year. And during these four months, I have gained about uh, 150 subscribers. Uh, that might not sound like a lot, but uh, what I noticed was out of the 150 followers I gained, half of them came from two videos and uh, I am going to break down those videos for you. Okay, so the first video that I made was this one. This one was about product photography on the Sony A6400. Uh, when I posted this video, I didn't have any intention of getting into YouTube and posting consistently. The sole purpose of making this video was for myself. I made this video for myself. Whenever I used to search for the term product photography with the Sony 6400, I used to get about no results. There was one reel or maybe one video about this topic. So I decided uh, why not make a video for myself so that I can watch it uh, whenever I want. And uh, I did exactly that and uh, the video got attention. Soon after I published the video, it did quite well considering my, the views my channel used to get. I didn't know what I had done to get these views, but soon I realized the truth. Turns out, there wasn't only me who was searching for that term and didn't get any result. The views that I was getting was due to the lack of competition and high search volume of the keyword. This is known as a content gap. And if you can figure out some of these content gaps in your niche, this would be very helpful for your channel. That video did quite well. It has around 1.4k views as of now, which considering the subscriber count on my channel is quite a good number. But the latest video that I uploaded last Saturday has performed even better. The video was about a USB hub for the iPad. Now, uh, there are a lot of videos about USB hubs and iPads, but the thing that made the video different from the others was that the point I covered was not covered by uh, many of the other YouTubers that made videos about the topic. Everyone just made a video about a random USB app and talked about its features, uh, advantages, disadvantages and all. But the point I covered was that how important it is for a user who is about to begin their career in photography using the iPad. And hence it has gained more than 2000 plus views in just a matter of few days. It has gained me more than 30 subscribers and over 24 hours in watch time. And the tip for you is to identify the content gap in your niche and make a video on it as soon as possible. Thanks for watching this video till the end. If you want to check out some random photography tips, these two videos are perfect for you.